Hi friends, welcome back to the Pragmatic Lopa. When you hear Diwali is nearing, you tend to plan about a lot of things. Like the entrance is of utmost importance, which brings in home the main energy, hence should be appealing and alluring. It is not only the entry point for the family, but also for positive energy. On this auspicious eve of Diwali, make sure the entrance is well equipped to expel negativity and is the only place from where happiness and good luck enters your home. So keep it as pleasing as possible. Moreover, the main door also creates the first impression of a house. So make sure it is well lit with diyas and lights. Make colorful rangoli and hang torah or festoon. They are considered auspicious and invite good fortune. Set up early to decorate fresh flowers filled with water. This attracts positive vibes to the place. I so wish I had a proper urli for Diwali. For that matter, I just love urli, which simply adds up to the aesthetics to a different level altogether. Do not worry, like me, if you do not have one. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up your own customized urli and make you dia using fake flowers. And the mango leaf toran will be shown in the next video. Else this video will be too lengthy. The link for Toran will be provided in the description box. Do check it out. For now, let's start with whatever is available at your place. For Urli, make use of any decorative or simple plate and bowl available at home, like I used here a wooden one. Dolly, which is optional, some accent rocks. I prefer white. Place the bowl at the center of the plate and fill the plate with accent rocks. Personally, I would prefer real flowers floating in water. In fact, to make the flowers pop up well on a contrasting background, I mix few drops of white acrylic color. Fill the bowl with the same solution. I had this flower clip lying at my dresser, so thought why not use it at the center? Oops, sadly it sunk. So had to come up with something to make it float. Took this foam board, cut it into any shape you want using Zacto knife. First, tried a circle to keep the flower on top. Now fill the plate randomly with some fake flowers. And yeah, later I also tried to cut a square shape foam board. Place the center flower, both flowers. Along the borders to use as a single unit. Similarly, to make other flowers float, I used small pieces of foam board and poked it with individual flower, and they floated effortlessly. Just in case you wish to add height to your urli, you can place any vase underneath. As I didn't want to buy anything new, was figuring out using whatever was available at home. Finally, on deciding, instead of completely filling up the plate, I just filled the outer circle, as I didn't have enough of them. Placed a dolly at the center, vase on top of it, and a wooden bowl filled with water mixed with acrylic paint and some fake flowers to add some lighting effect. I use these flickering tea lights at the base of the plate. I use total four of them, and these submersible tea lights in the water for better glow. I use four of these as well. If you do not have submersible lights, it's okay. You can use floating candles on top as well. You can see here with these real flowers, it looks so pretty. You can also spread few petals here and there on water as well. For a more realistic look, you can also cover the tea lights with these fake flowers. For all those who are unable to access real flowers, for whatever may be the reason, this fake flower urli decoration is for your rescue, which looks equally good and undoubtedly 
your guests will have a pleasing welcome. For this diya setup, you can get any flat surface or any large circular or square plate from your kitchen would do the job. But I use this wooden board kind of stuff. Few fake glass. You can go for real ones as well. But over here, getting the desired flower of your preferred color is difficult. So I got this yellow and red fake plastics. As this is for Diwali, I gave a lighting effect with these string lights. First, separate individual flowers from the main stick. That's why prefer flower sticks with many small flowers on it. Now either you can directly mark the border on the frame first with a pencil to guide within which you would set the lights on, or like I did, place the flowers first in the shape of a diya, and using small strips of scotch tape, mark the borders. If you wish, you can apply glue. To fix the flowers directly on the frame, but I wanted to reuse this flowers and frame after Diwali for some other project. So I simply placed on the frame. After removing all the flowers from the frame, you can evidently see the markers here. Now, carefully align the string lights along and within the markers you mark. Try to cover. Most part of it for even lighting, and fix them with strips of scotch tape. This is how it will look at the end. Now fill in with the flowers as I showed you before, and in case you are falling short of flowers, you can try this trick. To open up the flower into separate layers, which would help you to fill in the gaps with even less number of flowers. Try to make it look fuller. I kept the diya red and the flame orangeish yellow to mimic the actual flame. You can directly keep it on the floor or use any vase or any container or stand. As the base to keep the frame as shown here. Now you can enjoy your own simple yet unique Tia decor for your home. I am putting up a lot of hard work for these videos. Would appreciate your love. Hope you like my video. If yes, do like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. This would mean a lot to me. To motivate me to come up with more such amazing budget-friendly decor ideas, you can follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description box below. Don't forget to check out how I made this festoon or toran. See you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Love you all.